to have the total station and then with the, the prism here, um, we start laying out the points so that the laser shoots up and down and actually hits every single one of these rods that are actually for these um, um, piping racks actually um, for um, the cub here. Um, and then in this situation, what we had to do is we typically use the, the um, prism pole um, for laying point on the ground. It's a lot, a lot faster than just laying a point on the ground and then having to bring the same laser over and shooting a point straight up. Um, I know that one can actually shoot a laser straight up, but its angle is not always the best, depending on the area. This one allows it to go in any direction. That way we can still shoot straight up and down from that point there. Um, and from there, what we do is we set up the tone station, and then we can go through and do the layout here. And I can click on one of my first points. Um, it points out where the prism's at, and I should be able to walk over to my first point over here, which is, um, let me see which one this one is. Let me pick one that's nearby, actually. This one here. Right. Yeah, let's pick this one right here. And then basically we should be able to just come over to this spot over here. Exactly. And basically you can fine tune it by uh, moving it loop right and left. It tells you kind of how to do it. And then as I'm moving it here, it gives me kind of the accuracy of the prism itself. And this basically right here tells you to how to move from the prism. So it would tell me to move this being straight back and straight back from the prism. This means left or right, and that one is going straight towards it. Then basically, it shoots the point up, and actually, you can see it actually hits where that rod is supposed to hit up there on that, that beam up there. Actually. So they were able to lay that out, put that beam up there, and then basically they hit each one of these, and then they know they're in a perfect straight line. Using it on the prism pole, one of the nice things about it is. Normally when you're laying out with a prism pole, you've got to make sure that you're always plumb. So usually what I'll do when I get close is once I get about an inch in each direction, kind of freehanding. Now from here on out, with a traditional prism, basically you got to level it out on the bubble here before you look at the screen. Otherwise, basically it's lying to you because the prism is not level with the tip. But the nice thing with using this, because it's offset and the laser self levels, I don't really have to worry about my level bubble here anymore. So I can just kind of freehand it all the way, not worrying about level. And then once I get kind of close, I can even just use the bipod legs to put it into place. And there we go. And I didn't have to look at my level bubble once. And he's also, it takes one less person. Yeah. So, so the payback on this thing is like exponential. Like days. Yeah. 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 So from then from that point on you're making money. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, without a doubt. So like instead of having two guys in here laying out each one of these racks in here, you're having two guys doing all of them. Instead of two on this one, two on that one, two on that one down there, and they're all pouring wire and spring off of every column in here. It's actually saving all that time because now I've only got two guys working on it instead of ten. And I've only got Maybe three guys lifting and rigging everything up in the air now. So, so this is a no-brainer oh, purchase. Yeah. I would say so. It'll pay itself off like right away. Oh yeah, oh, it's, it's already done that a couple of times. So, I'm not... so one of the aspects of why we made the LTP five twenty six modular was so that you can use any standard surveying accessories with it. So this is kind of a configuration that we have. Some of our masonry contractors will use this because you can actually set these legs to be just wide enough to fit a masonry block. And that way one person can actually do his own layout and marking. He just moves it right down the masonry block. Once he's got it where it wants according to field link, he sets it in there, he's got his point, and then he can just make a mark. You could also use this for any kind of other application where putting the whole pole or the whole cart might be too tight of a fit. You can actually just stick this right in there. So because everything's just standard 5 8 fittings, anything you can kind of think of either off the shelf or any of the accommodations that we've kind of come up with would work for you. Another common question that's come up, a lot of our mechanical, electrical, and plumbing contractors, they're often working on corrugated deck or pan decking. And when you're using a traditional prism pole with your bipod legs, it can be a little bit dicey because, you know, all those metal tips on metal decking can slide around a bit. And trying to get it dialed in as well as just trying to prevent your pole from falling and damaging your tablet can be an issue. So again, another kind of off the shelf configuration we came up with was using a magnet for a target sphere and replacing it on your prism pole. You don't have to worry about the tip anymore because your LTP 526 is meant to offset forward. So you can actually 
go on to pan decking and it's quite strong of a magnet. I can actually pull the cart based on the magnet. So if you're actually working on pan decking, you can see it's sitting there on its own. So even if you had your tablet on there, you don't have to worry about it sliding and falling over as easily. And when you're gonna go and lay it in, you can actually just use your pole and dial it in by just using your bipod legs. So a lot of customers, what they'll do is they just get it within a few inches according to field link. Once they get it there, then they just level it out as needed to get to their point, whether it's inside the channel or outside the channel of the pan deck.